Hi, I want to talk about one category of grades that we will have first quarter and probably on into second quarter, depending on how you guys do on things. So the first one of these is something kind of strange. It's called keeping the pen capped. And part of the success skills are skills that help everybody be successful. So in our class, we do a lot of writing and thinking together and we use the big whiteboards Big whiteboards are leaning up against the lab benches. And then we also use um, individual whiteboards. And if people, um, so many things that I will typically see is someone does this and then they start talking to the person next to them and they leave it out here and the pens dry out amazingly quickly. Or I'll even see them like line up several if they wanna do different colors. And then, or the other thing that they'll do is they'll uncap the pen and then start talking to the person next to them. You know, that's really easy to do. But the only way to keep these lasting as long as possible is if you only have the pen capped when you are physically writing on uh, one of the whiteboards. Um, and so even like pausing this moment in time, you know, you should keep the pen capped. So how is this gonna work in terms of a grade? Well, and like I said, we wanna make sure that everyone has a good learning environment. These dry out really quickly. So if I get brand new markers, first period, and people use them first period, second period, third period, by the time we get to seventh period, um, these markers are gonna be dried out. And seventh period, they will not be able to write well, they won't be able to see as well as they should, and everyone deserves to have markers with ink in them. And so this is enhancing the learning environment for everybody first through seventh period. So how is grading going to work? If I see you like doing like this, talking to the person next to you, I'll just go over, I'll try to make a joke out of it. My voice is sarcastic, I apologize for that, but I'll try to make a joke and say, ah, oh, not keeping the pen capped, you get a zero, and I will put a zero in the grade book. How do you get the zero gone? 10 minutes later or 20 minutes later or the next day or two days later, you're going to say, Ms. Austin, see, I'm keeping my pen capped and then I'll change the zero to a one. So I want to make this kind of lighthearted, but on the other hand, I really do need to make sure that everybody has markers that work by the time we get to sixth and seventh period. Okay, another science success skill is writing in pen. Um, part of being a scientist is just writing in pen. Scientists write in pen. If you make a mistake, you cross it out and then write below it what the correct thing should be. And you don't scribble it out, you don't write it out, because sometimes your first ideas were correct and you wanna make sure that you can still see them. Um, it, this will include if we do graphs, if you graph it incorrectly, you'll just neatly put X's through the points that are wrong. Um, so I know that many of you have written in pencil so far and are going to be concerned that I'm going to put a zero in the gradebook, which I will not. Um, but here on out, you should be writing in pen. Um, if you have incredibly severe angst about it, you know, please come and talk to me and we'll try to work out an equitable solution. Um, another thing. Um, so these, uh, you'll notice that I have green ink on here. This is never going to go away. Um, this blue ink has been here. Ah, this blue ink has been here for a while. I left it on there purposely because the blue ink, it'll erase pretty well. But I could even like try scratching this green off. It's not going to come out. I also have a degree in chemistry. And so I know a lot of exotic solutions. I have tried every solvent and I cannot get it out. Don't use green. The other thing that helps is that if you erase every single day, especially on our big whiteboards, they're very cheap. Um, they start ghosting, which means if the writing is on there for more than a couple of days, it won't ever erase, even with whiteboard eraser. Um, these baskets are not trash. Um, it really annoys me when I come around and look at them and people have thrown gum wrappers, which there should be no gum in my classroom, tissues, etc., into here. I don't know how I'm going to translate into that grade. Just don't drive me crazy. Um, there are wiping cloths. There should be four in here. Oh, they're uh, on the table. Wiping cloths or erasers um, should go into here, as well as um, rulers. And whiteboard markers you can either put in here or they're also in the drawers marked science supplies. Feel free to go in there. Um, they're also 
uh, scissors, um, if you need stuff, tape, whatever, protractors, I will provide those for use in this class. All right, last sign success skill, skill I'm gonna talk about today is this is the one that may go on depending on how persistent people are. The only thing you may calculate with is a calculator, either this one or an expensive gra graphing calculator. This one's like $10. You may not use Desmos, you may not use your phone, you may not use your iPad. You may not use anything else other than a calculator for calculating in here because it is the most efficient way to calculate. It is how scientists do it. So like pens uncapped, if I walk around and I see that you are using something other than a calculator to calculate, again, I'll put a zero in the grade book, but how do you erase that? 10 minutes later today, Miss Austin, I'm using a calculator, see? And then I'll go and erase it. Again, I'm trying to keep this lighthearted, but as I've watched students over the past two or three years um, with Desmos, they struggle with learning algebraic thinking. And it's just, it's not an efficient way to calculate. Use a calculator.